Dustin Abbott, and I'm here on a March day, and I have to confess it's this time of year where I start to struggle with a little bit of burnout in my photography. Winter has set in here in Canada for many months by this point. Sometimes by March, it's five months, and so I'm sick of seeing white and ready to see some color. So it's this time of year that I, I tend to push my creativity a little bit and to try to come up with some new and some fresh ideas to spice things up. And so uh, I want to share one of those tips with you here today that may help to improve your product photography or if you want to get into some macro photography or if you are a wedding shooter, it's a really great tip to really add some extra spice to your perhaps ring shots or some other detail shot of the day. And so uh, most of these things for this are pretty common items. Now, uh, one of those, and it doesn't have to be an iPad, but if you have an iPhone or an iPad or some other tablet with a shiny reflective surface, uh, um, I used an iPad for this shot today. You also need some kind of source of light. It can be available light. It could be, um, you know, some kind of strobe light. Uh, for this particular series of shots, I actually use this little LumaCube um, light that I'm reviewing right now. It's really, really incredible. It's 100 or 1,500 lumens in a one and a half inch square. It's waterproof, and so you can put this light source almost anywhere. So it's been really helpful in my creativity just to put position it in different places. And then to produce some great bokeh, just some bubble wrap. Um, and you can choose whatever kind you want. And uh, But anyway, it's amazing what bubble wrap can do if placed out of focus to be your bokeh. And then whatever you're going to be shooting, whether it's rings, and I shot some rings for this shot. I also shot this little pocket watch. And so anyway, let's uh, jump in and let's take a look at how to make the magic happen. So let's put the pieces together and get some shots. First thing you're going to want to do is to set up with your bubble wrap uh, where it can stand as out of focus. Now here I've used a piece that's stiff enough that it can stand on its own and that's certainly helpful. Um, if you don't have a piece that can do that, you're going to need to find a means of supporting it in some way. The next step is that you want to have the iPad or the iPhone, tablet, whatever reflective surface you're going to use with your uh, primary subject on top of it. The great thing about uh, particularly like an iPhone or some other phone is you may have it with you. Here I've got the pocket watch here and, and I'm going to shoot this at a low angle and so that I can get a reflection of the bokeh in it as well. For my light source here, I'm using the little Luma Cube um, that I reviewed, and you can see a link to that here. I've set up to where I am skimming the light to where it's uh, lighting up the left edge of my subject, but then also some of that light is um, illuminating the background because I want to create some bokeh highlights. And so it's both bouncing off the reflective surface onto the background as well as part of that light, as you can see, is uh, focused beyond. So there's plenty of light on the back subject. You can also accomplish this with a secondary light source if you want. I've chosen to do it simply here with just one shot. And so now um, we have... The final ingredient is that on your camera to have some kind of lens that can focus down closely. Now, for this particular series, I've chosen to use Tamron's new 90mm f2.8 macro lens, which is, a, of course, a great lens for this kind of thing. But you can use whatever lens you have that can focus down closely. So as you can see already from the back of the camera, we have got a great looking shot here. And so after a little bit more uh, tweaking here with the lighting, let's see at some of the end results that we can get from just this kind of setup. If you play with your settings, including the white balance, the angle of the camera, the position or the amount of light that you use, you can really get a variety of impressive results using this technique. It also provides for some really great reflections and of course the ability to produce that unique and beautiful bokeh um, in and around your subject really kind of sets it apart. The nice thing about this is that you don't even have to have a great setting in terms of your overall background because the bubble wrap becomes the background for the shot. So I think you can agree with me that those are some pretty awesome looking shots with really very common items, accessible items. And so grab your, your macro lens or your best close focusing lens and uh, try out your creativity and see if you can produce some incredible shots of your own. I'm Dustin Abbott. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Have a great day.